Hello, my name is Lisa Jarsdorfer, and for this video I would like to demonstrate to you how to create a custom table view in TrueSight Presentation Server 10.7 to see synthetic events more clearly. Before we get started, it is important to understand that there's four different ways that synthetic events can be generated. The first way is when an agent threshold is violated via the Application Management KM. Another way is when a server threshold is violated via the Application Management KM. A third way is when a SLA is violated. And the last way is when a synthetic metric rule is violated. In order to understand why you may want to create a table that shows synthetic events more clearly, let me first show you what an unfiltered table will look like. On your TrueSight presentation server, click on the monitoring and then choose the option for events. As you can see from this list, we have several events that have occurred, but we cannot tell where they came from. We cannot easily tell if they came from the AMKM, an SLA violation, or a synthetic metric rule violation. We can show this at a quick glance if we create a custom table view. To create the custom table view, you will need to click on the three dots next to the events title and choose the option for Manage Events Table View. On the next screen, you will click on the three dots next to the Manage Events Tables View title and choose the option for Create Events Table View. We will need to give our table a name. As you can see, we're given some default columns for our Synthetic Events Table View. We will want to add a few more columns and reorder them. First, let's add some additional columns by clicking on the Add button icon. From this point on, please remember that these columns and the order of the columns are only our suggestions. You can choose whichever columns you think will give you the best information and order the columns in whichever order you prefer. In order to select our columns, we will first want to select the Event Radio button in the Event Class Selector column. Then in the Column Selector column, we will do a search. The first one will be Tool Class. The second one will be metric. And the last one will be object URI. There is also one column that's added by default that we'll not need for our table. That column will be host. To remove it, simply click on the minus sign next to the column name. Now choose the add button, and this will bring us back to the columns view. In here, you will see the new columns that we added at the bottom of the list. At this point, we can now reorder the columns. To do this, simply click on the Move icon next to each column heading and drag it to the position that you want. For our order, we would like Occurred to be first, Severity to be second, Tool Class to be third, Metric fourth, Message 5th, Class 6th, Status will go to the 7th position, Priority will go to the 8th, and, ob and last but not least, we've got our object URI. Remember that this order is only our suggestion and you can reorder this table in any manner that's going to suit your needs. Once you have them in the order that you prefer, click on the OK button and now our table has been successfully created. If you wish to edit the table that you just created and add more columns or maybe even reorder the columns, then you only need to click on the three dots next to the table name and choose Edit. Now let's see what our table looks like. Let's click on Monitoring and Events, then click on the table icon on the toolbar. Then select User Defined Table Views and choose our custom table that we created. Choose OK. And the new columns will appear in our events table. Please remember that we did not filter the list, so if you have any events that were not synthetic, they will also appear here in this table. You can clearly see where our synthetic events came from. So in this scenario, you can see that the most current events are coming from the AMKM via the patrol agent. If you scroll down a little further, you can also see that there are some events being created due to synthetic metric rules. And if you scroll down even further, we can see events that were thrown due to SLA violations. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you found it helpful.